Hey everybody, welcome to Some Things Fishy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you. If you're a subscriber or you've, or you've seen a few of our videos already, welcome back. We're, we're really glad to have you no matter where you're from, what you're doing here. We appreciate your support. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. We've got some great content on the channel and some great content coming out to you shortly, especially if you love clownfish or saltwater fish in general. We got lots of stuff. So comment below what you'd like to see next. We're kind of looking for some new content to start filming about. We've covered a lot about clownfish. What would you like to see next? We're thinking about doing some cleanup crew videos, but if you've got some, some specific fish that you'd like to see on our channel, let us know below in the comments. Let's get into it. I just recently made a a video about gold striped mar maroon clownfish. I had just recently got some great footage of them. I think they are gorgeous, really cool fish. If you know me on this channel, I love maroon clowns. I think they're really cool. I have kind of ragged on them in past videos. You can check those out and see why, because they do tend to be really aggressive and they can kill each other. They can kill other fish in your tank. Although I don't see that quite as much, but whenever I go into my local store and ask them if they have maroons or if they'd like to sell them, they usually try and influence me not to because there are dead baby maroon clowns on the bottom of the tank floor almost every time I go because they are very aggressive towards each other. That being said, that being said, I do think that maroon clownfish, especially lightning maroon clownfish, are the coolest types of clownfish that you can get in your tank. Especially these lightning maroons are honestly some of the coolest fish that you can get in the saltwater fish tank realm. I think they are so gorgeous. They are beautiful. They are really, really cool. So if you can get past that, aggress that, that aggressive stage, especially when they're babies trying to figure things out, trying to pair, trying to find a mate, if you can get past that, get them in your tank, integrate them well with your tank, with each other, with the other tank fish in there, you're gonna love the purchase. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, the price of lightning maroons is really gonna differ depending on where you live, where you're from, especially if you're outside of the country. I had a guy from the UK, I believe, comment below, comment again if it's you, I, I, I'm quoting you, um, talk about how like our lowest in the United States, were in, especially in our region in Colorado, our like lowest price for clownfish was like the highest that he finds there. So, but speaking specifically about maroon, clown, maroon clownfish and lightning maroon clownfish at the local fish store here in Colorado, we can get a pair of lightning maroons for 25 bucks. So it's like 15 for an individual one and a pair is like 25. So really good price, especially for a fish as cool as you can get. Um, and as cool as lightning maroon clowns get, they're just so pretty, so gorgeous. But uh, here's the thing, um, that price might change if you're buying online or if you're buying in a different state, maybe California, or if you're in the UK, might be much more expensive. But like I mentioned before, there is some aggression. So be careful, because it might just be one of those purchases where you buy a, a set and they don't pair quick enough and they get too aggressive and one just gets beat beat, beat up and thrown to the ground and not good. So um, if you can, try and buy lightning maroons pre-paired or at least to the point where they're big enough to kind of swim away and not get totally torn to shreds and, and you might be all right. You, you could be fine. So um, yeah, I, I would be a little bit careful there. But if you want to commit to it, I would encourage you to because these fish are fantastic. You don't have to worry as much about other fish in your tank uh, with the lightning maroons being aggressive towards them, especially if you're introducing the lightning maroons later. So you've introduced all these other fish and then you put some lightning maroons towards the end. It's like your eighth and ninth or 10th and 11th fish in the tank, depending on how big it is. Because then all of your other fish will have their own territory. They'll know where to find new territory if they need to. They'll have hiding spots. And your maroon clownfish can go to the anemone or go to some spot, find their own territory, keep to themselves, won't be as aggressive. So that's that's some recommendation that I would give to you. Um, but again, I, I think these fish are so cool to have. I would really encourage you to in the future. I'm looking to get some, especially maybe for like a nano tank or like a 10 gallon, 15 gallon for a desk or something. I think they are a perfect set for that. So keep that in mind. I think, I think lightning maroon clowns are fantastic. They're great fish to have. Um, in terms of feeding, I would feed them brine, mysis. They'll love that. They'll be big fans of those, of, of those food, of that food. Um, and you can also go for flake or pellet food sometimes. It's good to switch up the diet, rotate it through maybe, feed them one to three times a day, depending on the quantity and how, how often you feel. Uh, maybe two to three times is, is a, better, a better recommendation a day. 
And yeah, should be great. Should be a great purchase. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I love maroon clownfish, especially lightning maroons. I think they're gorgeous. I'd recommend you get them, but I'd also say be cautious, be careful. Don't get the ones that are towards the bottom of the tank or hiding in the corner. They're probably the ones that have been beat up more. And maybe try not to get the most aggressive one in the tank. Try and find a pair that you really think is gonna make it. So yeah, let me know what you think of lightning maroon clowns in the bottom, in the comments. Uh, I know some people have said, hey, I have a pair. They're fantastic, they're great. And I agree with you. If you can get them to pair and get them to be friends, fantastic. I, from my experience, I've seen that it can be difficult to do, maybe more difficult than just Ocellaris clowns, but you know, no problem. You, you can figure it out, use your better judgment. And uh, again, thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking, sticking it out this far in the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.